Hi teachers, this is Dr. Nice of teachersinph.com and this is session 2 of your Deep Ed email account mini course. Session 2 Google Apps. The session objective are as follows. Discover the many apps of Google. Select useful apps for teachers. Incorporate Google Apps to education. What is Google Apps? Google Apps is a set of web applications provided by Google. These web applications include the Google Email or your Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Talk or Hangout, Google Mobile, Google Play, Google Plus, Google Drive, Google Classrooms, and many others. All of these web applications offer an online alternative to additional Office Suite. Now let us start with Google Drive. Google Drive is a file storage and synchronization service created by Google. It allows users to store files in the cloud, synchronize files across devices, and share files. Google Drive ensures safe storage for all your files. Keep your files safe and accessible. Organize your items easily. So let's get started. First, you need to create a folder. Name it be Ballad National High School. We can also change the color of the folder. Let me use green. Then again, I'll create another folder. Name it Deep Ed. And then again, change the color. We can also edit the view to grid or list. Now let's add files into the folder Ballad Images. Click on new, click on do Google Docs, add a document title. You can also share this document simply by adding the email address, add a personalized note. And then click send. Info at teachersinph.com should now receive an invitation to edit the document. Now you see the test document inside the ballot images. Next, we are going to add a spreadsheet. Just name it Sheet 1 since this is just a test. And we are going to have a separate session for these. Refresh. Sheet 1 and test document are now inside the ballot in ages. Please remember that you have 15 gigabyte storage and you have by far consumed 27 megabytes. Next is Google Gmail. A Gmail account is a free Google account with an email address that ends in at gmail.com. From the Gmail mailbox, users can access Google Docs, Google Calendar, Google Sites, and a lot others. The account also allows users to instantly log in to the dozens of other Google applications like Picasa, Blogger, and Maps. YouTube. Yes, with your Deepid email account, you have a YouTube account. With a Google account, you can access many YouTube features including like, subscribe, watch later, watch history. YouTube can also recommend videos based on what you've watched, liked, and subscribed to. To upload videos, 
leave comments or create playlists, you can create a channel on your account. Now let me teach you how to subscribe. Let us search for the Department of U Education. Now this is U.S. Department of Education. Let us just click on subscribe. Notice that it is automatically added to your subscriptions list. Now let us subscribe DBED. Simply search on DBED. Click enter. And click subscribe. Now let us view the videos of DBED Philippines. Scroll down and let us watch the Happy Teachers Day from the Deep Executive Committee. Next up is Google My Account. Control your experience all in one place. My Account gives you quick access to settings and tools for managing your Google experience on products like search and maps. Sign in or create your Google account. Sign in and security. Control your password and account settings. Of course, Google search. Google search commonly referred to as Google Web Search or simply Google is a web search engine developed by Google. Now let us try to search for lesson plans. We can check all, Im all images, books, news, videos, and more search results. If you would like to customize your search, you could also try to use the search tools. Google Plus. Google Plus is a social network that builds off of your Google account. If you have a Google account, you can activate your Google Plus account as easily. Google Plus is just like Facebook, Google Maps. Google Map is a desktop web mapping service developed by Google. It offers satellite imagery, street maps, 360 degrees panoramic views of streets for the street view, real-time traffic conditions, the Google traffic, and route planning for traveling by foot, car, bicycle, or public transportation. Now this is the satellite view of Ballad National High School. Google Calendar. With Google Calendar, with Google's free online calendar, it is easy to keep track of life's important events all in one place. Google Calendar also allow you to share your events simply by adding the email address. Then click on save. Let us create another event. Make lesson plans. Select the date. Select the time of the day that you are going to start and finish and simply create an, and simply click and save. Let us view the event. Google Contacts. Google Contacts is a Google contact management tool that is available in its free email service Gmail. It is a standalone service and is a part of Google's business oriented suite of web apps which is now I am adding my information I have added my name the email address and my home location also the URL click on save now it should now be shown under my contacts wow. 
Now let us try to add another contact. Again, simply click on the tabs. Just click on save now. Go to my contacts again. It should now be added. There are my contacts. Now let's create a group. Let's name it teachers and PH. Click OK. And also another group. Let's claim it Ballard NHS. Click OK. Google Groups. Google Groups is a service from Google that provides discussion groups for people sharing common interests. The group's service also provides a gateway to use net news groups via a shared user interface. Google Groups became operational in February 2001 following Google's acquisition of Deja's Usenet Archive. Google Hangouts Google Hangouts is a unified communication service that allows members to initiate and participate in text, voice, or video chats, either one-on-one -on -one or in a group. Hangouts are built into Google Plus in Gmail and mobile hangouts are also available for iOS and Android devices. Google Scholar is very important for teachers who are pursuing graduate studies. Google Scholar is an online freely accessible search engine that lets users look into both physical and digital copies. It searches a wide variety of sources, including academic publishers, universities, and preprint depositories looking for peer-reviewed articles. And the last app that we are going to discuss is Google Play. Please take note that there are still a lot of Google apps that we have not discussed. We just covered 13 useful applications for teachers. Google Play. Google Play, formerly known as the Android Market, is the official app store for Android smartphones and tablets. Google makes software applications, music, movies, and books available for purchase and download through the store. We have covered 13 Google apps. To recap, Google Drive. This is where teachers can store their files. Gmail account allows teachers to send emails to other co-teachers and students. YouTube account allows teachers to upload and download educational related videos. Google My Account ensures that the DeepEd email account is secured. You can actually change your password and update your profile information in Google My Account. Google Search allows you to search the World Wide Web through the Google Search engine. Google Plus is a social media. It is just like Facebook. Google Maps is a desktop web mapping service developed by Google. With Google Maps, you can actually locate the nearest high school or elementary school or the nearest tepid office. Google Calendar allows you to send or allows the teacher to invite another teacher by sending a calendar event or this can also be very helpful in setting up reminders. Google Contacts actually syncs with your phone so whatever is added into your Google Contact this is also Google Contacts. We can actually add a contact through a mobile and the web application and it automatically syncs for us. Google Groups is just like a forum wherein we can discuss common interests.
Google Hangouts is a unified communication service and we can actually chat, call, or do a group hangout. Google Scholar is an online freely accessible search engine. And according to my professor, this is accepted as reference for your thesis or dissertations. Google Play allows you to download educational mobile application and you can actually use your deep ed email address. We have just completed session 2 Google Apps. Thank you for watching session 2. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational mini courses.